Hello, and welcome to Craft Tuber. Um, I notice Steve and Mark already did their Craftober videos um, where we plan for NaNoWriMo. So to jump on that bandwagon, um, I'm going ahead and doing this and <clears throat> The um, big takeaway from watching both Steve and Mark's videos, I'm going to try to link them down below. I'm going to be a grown-up and, like, do some actual linkage. Um, so we'll see that. Um, but um, one of the things that I really wanted to do was do live streams and all sorts of stuff when I'm doing Nano. Um, if you noticed for um, Writetober, I did one live stream so far. I want to do more, but this week and next week are going to be tricky. Um, but I do plan on doing some. And um, in hearing Steve talk about all the things um, that we're going to be going through and plotting, doing all this stuff, it made me realize that doing the sixth book in a series for NaNoWriMo might not be the best thing in the world because then I would be spoiling everything for everybody um, who hadn't read all the books before because we all know that you're all picking up the Black Star books, links in the description, um, and keeping on top of that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, um, like every year, the NaNoWriMo website is as buggy as hell and doesn't want to do anything it's supposed to do. So, um, and it could just be that Steve and Mark broke the internet today. And so they're getting more clicks on their page than ever have happened in the history of forever before. I doubt it. Not that Mark and Steve aren't that talented to break the Nano website. Um, I believe they are. Um, but every year there's always something. Um, if any of you have an awesome story of how the NaNoWriMo website um, broke when you needed it the most, leave it down below because I almost want to do an entire video talking about how broken the NaNoWriMo website has been over the years. Um, and in doing NaNoWriMo, I've never finished it. Uh, I get mad at all the emails that I get from them telling me to just do stuff. It's like I get all pissed off. So I'm going to completely disable all email notifications from um, this uber preppy website you know for a shield and a viking hat i really don't think they should be as happy as they are when they're sending you emails like the email should be like "Arr, write your words you bastard uh, and be a pirate i guess mm -hmm. oh, huh. um but anyway so I guess today all we had to do was set up our nano page. Um, I even tried to go through my older nano pages to try to find my older nano pages, and I couldn't even do that. So, um, blimey, um, I'm, I'm irritated with that. Anyway, so let's scroll around, shall we? So um, I'm at I Hate Matt Wall, so you can find me. So the book I'm doing is not going to be the next Black Star book. Um, I'm going to write that in December. Or if I could get this written earlier, um, like if I could finish this before... Um, before the end of the month, I'll go ahead and start um, Black Star. Bless you, my love. So... Um, yeah, Slaves of the Pit, the Pit Book 1. If you <clears throat> recall me talking about it, um, I was saying how uh, 
a little while ago, we were, it was probably only like three or four weeks ago, we were talking about um, doing this as a comic book. Um, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, as far as the plot goes, it's basically, oh, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if I could find um, Art Project. Let's see what happens if I go to our project. Okay. Um, let's scroll down here. Uh, is it, can you guys see this okay? Of course you can. Okay. Um, so, the evil empire known as the Black Death scour the land, destroying villages in search of the most renowned warriors to battle until their death in front of the Dark Lord so that he could devour their souls. Um, this book is also known as the longest run on sentence in the history of forever. And um, it's going to be low magic, um, sword and sorcery kind of stuff, action adventure, um, a lot of battles and other things. And now I'm stuck. I, I can't get out. I can't get out of here. Okay. Um, and as far as like... Uh, like what plotting I've done for it so far. Basically, I don't have the names of all the characters. I have the names of some of the characters and kind of like their relationships, I guess, um, to each other <clears throat> for the most part. Um, I have... I don't necessarily have a beginning, but I have, like, what the first act is about, um, which is basically going to be, like, a slave train. <clears throat> um, there's this guy, the guy from the, <clears throat> from the Black Death is going to be taking um, all the prisoners or slaves to um, uh, the pit um, as a guy named... Tolg, who um, is a giant, giant man who rides a giant, giant, giant rat. So um, I have that. And um, as with most stories I have, I have sort of an idea how the end is supposed to happen. Or at least where... Well, actually, that's not true. One of the main characters, I know where they will end up at the end. Um, as far as everything else goes, I don't know. Um, when we first started talking about doing this project, um, all I was visualizing was this dude on a rat, like, marching a bunch of prisoners like, chained together through the wastelands kind of thing. Um, so, that's pretty much as much of that as I have. Um, and I think it's just going to depend on if I want to be using ideas that I've had in previous things or ideas that I've had that I never used or if I just want to go... Um, completely um, off the cuff on this. We'll see how this um, plotting works, actually. Because if I could plot it out to do... Um, I don't want to be overambitious, but if I could do, like, um, four to 5,000 words a day on this, that would be awesome. Um, that would give me a lot of time to get some other stuff done um, next month, which would be great. But more than anything, I want to make sure that um, I hit 50,000 on this because every other time, um, in fact, the only books I've ever written that are over 50,000 words are the Black Star books. And all the other um, books I've written, actually, I think one of the zombies.
but um, other than that, everything's like around 30 to 40 um, for the most part. So um, I really want to try to hit that sweet spot. Um, so that's kind of going to be the big bonus. But I'm just glad I'm doing something that I'm going to be able to talk about um, as opposed to being all secretive about um, the six block start book. So um, make sure to add me. I will put a link to find me on here because there, what's that little box up there? Um, rate the, no, search for users. Um, that little box up there does not work very well. So um, <clears throat> if you're doing nano, let me know down below. Um, I would love to um, buddy up on all that. So um, yeah, we will talk soon. I guess I need to talk to Steve because I don't know <clears throat> what we're supposed to be doing every day for this prep. Steve, you got to get on the ball here. You're leaving me hanging. Um, you're making me pants the plotting process. I don't understand. So anyway, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.